Hello, I've got a bunch of posts to open. It's not a giveaway this time, just a normal post bag. So I'll just be opening them up, telling you what they are. And in the description, there'll be affiliate links uh, to AliExpress for where I got them. I will get a little kickback if you use those links and it wouldn't affect you. So let's just get stuck in. Look at all this mail, let's just dig in. This one. Slide switch. And they are indeed SMD slide switches. This is for various projects that I want to do with some PCBs. Little handy components. A piece of paper from Fantasy Electronics. And we have got TTP223 little IC circuits. Now they are actually capacitive touch circuit uh, ICs. They are latching capacitive touch ICs. Usually get these on little breakout boards. Um, I forget why I want these. I think it was just parts in case I wanted to make a little capacitive latching circuit on some embedded project. Handy little thing. What are these? These are USB to serial chips. It's the CH340Gs. Uh, just a few of these to play with. Can't remember if it's the G or the C, which is the dodgy one. One's got an internal uh, oscillator. We've got screw times one. That's what she said. Yes, please. Oh, these are threaded inserts. Uh, these are M35 mil. And these will just go into uh, 3D printed projects. Uh, you, what you do is you heat them up and get one out. And yeah, you heat one up on your soldering iron and then you embed it, you push it into your plastic part and the metal heats and sets into the plastic and then you've got a very solid metal fastening holder for an M3, no, an M3 bolt. What have we got? Integrated circuits. Something else, don't forget it. Ah, these are these little modules, the ESP01 module. This is a relay module. Got a few of these now. Ugh. Pins are well and truly stuck in. So this is a ESP relay module. So you've got the power in and the power out, the relay. And there's an ESP, which should be here. Here we go. This is an ESP01 uh, that plugs into there and then you manage it over Wi-Fi and it will trigger the relay. This is just a reset button. In fact, there you go in writing, ESP01S relay version 1.0. Don't know how much load they can take. Not a lot, I imagine. Capacitors. These are small, these are 10. Yes, these are six volt, 220 nanofarad, picofarad capacitors, Italium, Italium. This is for a little project. Uh, I think it was an ESP8266 OLED board. On this little SMD board, it needed some of these capacitors. So I ordered them and there they are. This is an engineering ruler. Are you sure? That is not an engineering ruler. So this is from DIY More. And it's this little chip here. It's the MC78371. 
Can't quite get it to focus, but it is a lithium ion charging circuit, basically. Uh, this, along with this huge capacitor, look at the size of that. That is huge. Basically, this is a 25 volt, um, 4,700 microfarad capacitor, which is supposed to go in here. This is to manage the huge amount of loads that you'll get in, because it's supposed to be a solar charge controller, a small one. So you'd hook up with the pins. You've got your load pins, you've got your battery, and then this is where uh, your power comes in. So they're assuming that you're gonna put solar onto this. But what I'm more interested with is the chip, because this is the same chip that they use in the uh, Adafruit uh, charge, 1000C charge, boost charger circuit, and it has intelligent power load management. So when there is a load and the battery is full, it will use the load. So it won't keep draining and recharging your battery like the common uh, TP 4054s. I've just had to plug in power to my camera because it was dying. So this board and this humongous capacitor and these headers, something I'm gonna play with. I don't know if I'll use it as an actual solar charge controller, more of a better power management board. I've always fancied them, but they come way down in price now. So couldn't resist popping up there. The size of that, that is huge. That's the biggest I've ever seen. That's a huge set. Oh, no, 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 not that. <laughs> Just come on. And we've got here plywood tools. Well, you're not going to do much tooling on plywood with these, because these are power connectors. How odd. Um, but these are breadboard friendly power connectors. More of these. So these will go into your breadboard. Very handy. A bit easier on the circuit board as well. Cool. A few of them into the part drawer. This guy is GoPro camera mount adapter times one. What could it be? Yes, it is a GoPro adapter for a tripod. Is what it is. Little tripod mount that way. Yes, that goes on a GoPro mount of whatever is connected to. And then this just tripods into your camera or Whatever, this was dirt cheap, this. Feels fairly solid, a bit of give to it. But yeah, very handy little thing that you'll put in your camera bag. You never know when you need it. GoPro stuff attaches to everything and then this will just attach to your standard uh, mount. Speaking of TP4054s. There we go, five of them, five little chips. This is to repair something. Might even be one of those fake Lolin ESP32 boards, I think. I think, pretty sure that's what they're for. Wait, what are these? Oh yes, cable winders. I know what these are, wow, there's tons of them. There's 20 of these, I'll just get one out. These are really handy. Um, I saw these, get one out. This is basically cable management. So these little guys you would stick on your dash or behind your, it's for your car mainly, going on steering wheel or you could have it on your desk and stuff. And then a USB cable would clip into there. Let's see if I've got one. So you've got this mounted to some place. You've got your USB cable. It just clips into there and doesn't go anywhere. Very solid, got a 3M back in. And then when you need it, you either have it go in and out of there or you just pull it and these guys flex. These are just like soft plastic. But yeah, there's 20 of these and I just needed to route some cables around my car. I always have my USB cable 
charging my phone and it always dangles but these are there to just to root it out of the way very cool again dirt cheap really handy i'll give these out to some friends who complain about their cables not that that ever happens because i have no friends um jokes all right plastic sheet plastic sheet do not order a plastic sheet what i did order yeah, yeah these are header pins there's less than what it appears looks like a lot but in fact there's only 10 if i can get into this thing because they are double 40 pins double headers you use these handy and you just snap them where you want them again parts draw it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it go there and this is a pcb smd solder test kit Wow, I bought this a while ago. This is testing various resistor sizes. You've got 0805, 0805, 12 or 6, which look huge now. I'm a bit used to it. Got some SOC packages. There's some little transistor packages in here, SOC 23s. And there's an IC as well. And then there's a whole bunch of test resistors. Just practice. Always handy. Doesn't actually function. It's just to mess with. Excuse me. But we're at last one. Here we go. It's in tight. Don't you dare. RC parts cell meter. <whistles> That's what it is. It is a uh, balance charger basically a 7s i believe yep uh, 7s lithium battery balance capacity checker and it's version 2 so i believe if you this is why i got it yeah if you long press one of the keys it actually balances up to 7s packs so when you're charging them it will balance charge as well very handy i want to play with that Eventually, I want to get some kind of solar um, power wall. Get some free energy going into my maker shed. That's one thing that I think I will need. And that appears to be it. No giveaway this time. But if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys.